Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? This is Kiko. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite moments in Naruto part one, not part two, part one. And this is going to be like the moments that kind of like got my attention, were kind of emotional. So this is only moments, not fights. Like I'll probably do like a top five fights in another video. So it's just going to be like these small moments that, you know, it just kind of like caught my attention and brought the feels on. You guys don't have to agree with me. Like if you have like a moment that you think was like way better drop a comment because you know i want to know so at the number five spot is a gara episode and it's the episode 80 called the third hokage forever so in naruto part one naruto meets gara and you know we get introduced to gara as like this evil character that's too overpowered and later on we find out about his childhood and how like gara when he's growing up you know he also has like a demon inside of him like naruto nobody likes gara like in his village and the way gara deals with it is that he ends up going against everybody and starts like killing some people you know becoming like more aggressive because of like the way people treat him the way naruto goes about it is naruto he's getting treated like crap but naruto takes it on as a i want to prove everybody wrong and i'm going to become hokage like i want to prove myself even though everybody hates me i want to prove myself but gara is more like you know what forget everybody they all deserve to die so anyway naruto and gara meet gara is like this evil character and naruto is like this good character and they both had the same childhood but they both took different path they meet and and Naruto and Gara fight and pretty much after the fight you know Naruto beats him and Naruto pretty much says like listen you know I understand you like we we have we're in the exact same situation but the only thing is that you're being a bitch about it that's pretty much what he told Gara like hey you're getting all butthurt and going against everybody while me I'm taking like the <laughs> the higher road you know like I'm gonna make it like a growing experience and take it in a positive way you know those weren't his exact words but you know like he pretty much said like listen Gara I get you bro I get where you're coming from but you're looking at it the wrong way and after that conversation you know Gara, he starts taking like a new perspective in life and it's like a whole turning point for this character that grew up like as like becoming like an evil character and Gara's siblings Kankuro and Tamari they like take him away from the battlefield and then Gara like apologizes to them for like being like pretty much like a dick to them you know and yeah that's just like a whole turning point for that character and it's just like a it's just like a nice little moment you know just like you have this character who's developing into like an evil character and then you know his life changes and then he becomes like one of the best characters in the series later on and he becomes like a fan favorite and it's just nice seeing like this character who i thought was going to be like just evil you know turn into a good guy so that's number five all right so on the number four spot i forgot the episode number and the episode title and i don't know if this episode is a flashback from naruto part one or naruto part two naruto shippuden so if any of you beautiful people out there know which episode this is, you know, drop a comment because I forgot the episode number. But anyway, it's a flashback to when Naruto was a kid. And pretty much Naruto is playing with his friends and then his friends' parents come and get their kids and they leave, leaving Naruto all alone, you know, like always. So Naruto's walking, walking back home or something. And as he's walking, he sees Sasuke by himself looking out into the river. And that's kind of like, I don't know, one of those moments where it's kind of like, damn, these two kids, you know, Naruto, he grew up without a family. And Sasuke, he lost his family so both of them you know they know kind of like what it's like to not have parents and they're both alone at that moment but the way naruto looks at sasuke as they're going up is like sasuke is like some kind of badass who thinks he's too cool for everybody and sasuke looks at naruto as some annoying kid you know who's just looking for attention so they both end up kind of like not liking each other as they're growing up but they both have the reasons for that you know they both don't have a family and just naruto as a young age walking by sasuke as a kid like if they talk to each other and just kind of like bonded you know they would have become like very close friends and it's just like that moment i guess like naruto sees him and i guess like the way naruto looks at him is kind of like damn like um that's kind of familiar you know like is that kid also alone or or like what's up you know you know if naruto just talked to him they would have gotten along from the start and the whole series would have changed because then both of them would have not grown up being completely alone they could have had each other as friends but you know naruto never made the approach and it never happened so that's my number four spot i don't know the episode number but if you guys know it drop it in the comment section all right number three is episode 133 and it is called a plea from a friend and this is where naruto and sasuke battle it out in the waterfall or is it the waterfall where, where the two statues are so anyway uh sasuke you know he's trying to go find orochimaru to become stronger 
longer and he's leaving naruto doesn't want to let him leave so you know they get into a fight naruto pretty much tells him like you know are you really gonna abandon your village and your friends and, and sasuke says yeah fuck yeah I'm, I'm leaving like fuck you guys like whatever you know i want to get stronger and pretty much you know they start fighting but they start having like these moments and in this episode naruto's telling him like hey you know they actually talk it out like hey i understand that hey you don't have parents i didn't have parents either and you know i feel like we have a connection you're like my brother you know even though we've been fighting this whole time and kind of like rivals i don't want to lose you you know it's really cheesy but you know it's really like a really deep moment and you know sasuke pretty much throws back at him saying hey you grew up without a family but i had a family and i lost it and you don't know what that's like so don't be telling me that you know how i feel so just having like that moment you know like naruto being really desperate to get his friend back and sasuke just not listening to him at all it's just it's just kind of sad but it does set up the whole series for naruto shippuden and you know just a really deep moment i think it's a it's a good way for part one of naruto to end even though there was like a bunch of fillers so anyway that's my number three spot my number two spot is episode 19 the demon in the snow so when i first started watching naruto you know like the first big fight is against zabuza the demon ninja zabuza and zabuza's partner haku so anyway naruto and the squad they all fight zabuza and then haku zabuza's partner dies during the fight and pretty much zabuza says that he doesn't give a you know a crap about haku even though he's been with haku for years he says he doesn't give a crap about him and that haku was just like a weapon a tool and then him dying is just like losing a weapon he'll go find another weapon whatever so anyway naruto calls him out and says like so pretty much you've been with him this whole time and you're just calling him a tool like you know that's some fucked up shit like i don't know man naruto just starts like going off on him you know saying all this crap saying like that haku care about zabuza and the zabuza is just like how can he not show any emotion and naruto's like telling him like no matter how strong naruto becomes he never wants to become like zabuza or or that if he does become strong like is he gonna become like that emotionally detached so you know naruto goes off on the speech you know just like attacking zabuza saying like you know you're you're fucked up man like you don't care about your partner like he's been with you this whole time and like i don't understand it and you know when i'm seeing like naruto give the speech like it's kind of like damn like that's it's true you know like it's kind of like seeing naruto i don't know get emotional it's kind of like getting me emotional but then what brings like the moment like all together i guess is seeing zabuza's reaction to naruto's words and zabuza is crying tears are coming down his face and at that moment it was kind of like all right that shit is emotional and naruto just turned this freaking demon ninja he made him cry and it just and that was also kind of like an eye opener for naruto like naruto was like attacking him emotionally and naruto finally saw that like damn this guy actually does have feelings and him pretending that he doesn't care is just a front so anyway when i saw that moment man like it really got to me like just seeing the tears of zabuza and naruto's tears like all these tears going on at once i'm just like dang that's really deep for like an anime i just started watching you know episode 19 and that's just like the first season you know and just having like that deep moment is like all right i'm invested in this show and i want to see what else it brings to the table right all right number one spot number one spot is one you guys probably did not expect and it is episode 108 bitter rivals and broken bonds so this episode is where um naruto and sasuke they first got into a fight like where sasuke is like getting ready to like pretty much he's pissed he's ready to like leave bounce they get into a fight kakashi stops it and sasuke just runs off you know he's like forget you guys i'm out and sasuke he's sitting on a tree you know just thinking and then kakashi comes and talks to him and while they're talking and one reason that this is my favorite moment is because kakashi and sasuke are two of my favorite characters and seeing their interactions like between those two characters is like i don't know i like seeing them interact but anyway so they're talking and kakashi's trying to understand um sasuke and then and then sasuke kind of goes off on kakashi you know starts yelling at him saying like yo kakashi like i know you're trying to understand me but you don't know what it's like to lose all the people you care about you don't know what that's like and he tells kakashi like imagine having like all these people you care about and they all just die or you just lose them you know like how do you think you would feel and then kakashi pretty much just responds simply you know like well i already lost all the people i care about and kakashi and sasuke kind of have like a moment right there like all right sasuke grew up with the family but he lost them all and then um kakashi you know he grew up with like all his friends and he, and he also lost them all so both of them kind of have this moment like all right shit okay um i guess kakashi does understand me like damn you know and then kakashi just pretty much simply explains like hey listen we both lost people we care about and you know you pretty much move on and you know you have like other people you know filling those spots you know new people that care about you to like you know help you with the pain and that's where um sasuke thinks about naruto and sakura his new friends or his new family so then kakashi just kind of leaves him alone and i guess sasuke has like a deep moment where he's just thinking about you know naruto sakura kakashi and just like thinking about hey you know i did lose my family but i do have new people in my life and maybe i shouldn't be a dick and just leave the village or whatever you know so sasuke is kind of having that moment kind of like that turning 
point where he's about to go back and try and make things up with Naruto and Sakura and you know be one of the good characters one of the main characters um, back on our side right but then the evil Orichimaru's ninja little gang this uh, the the sound four sound sound four whatever whatever you call them man they came and pretty much told Sasuke hey we're gonna give you power and they pretty much kidnap Sasuke or they fight him and then they kind of convince him like hey let's go we're gonna give you more power so Sasuke just decides to take the evil path even though he was about to take the good path he was this close to taking the good path all because of Kakashi but then the sound ninja came and convinced him to take the evil path but anyway that was my favorite moment of the whole Naruto part one series and overall my top five favorite moments um I want to know which moment did you guys enjoy the most which moment like really caught like your I guess your emotions your attention was just kind of like damn that was pretty emotional pretty deep I probably do like a top five fights of Naruto part one because there's some pretty amazing fights so expect that to come up all right but anyway let me know what your favorite moment was drop a comment and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out